College football is officially underway. Let's look at how one university is using tech to study concussions and help players. I'm Emily Zulo, and this is Tech Bite. Virtual reality isn't just for playing video games, it's being used to help student athletes. Graduate athletic training professor Gary Wilkerson with the University of Tennessee at Chattanooga is studying why more players who have gotten concussions are also getting knee and ankle injuries later. We're just beginning to unravel what these effects really are. It's very challenging because there are no symptoms. The, the, it's completely asymptomatic processes, which is why we're doing the VR training, because we want to be able to detect if there's something that's not perfectly normal, we want to detect it as soon as we can. We don't know if we can fix it or not, but you certainly can't fix it if you don't know that it's there. Wilkerson is using VR to research a player's response time after a concussion. While wearing the headset, UTC mocks running back Alim Ford was instructed to lunge in either the same or opposite direction a shape is going. I can see characteristic patterns, characteristic profiles in people who've had multiple con concussions. Now, can we fix it? We don't know. We feel pretty confident that we can, wherever you are, we can make you better. This just further demonstrates just how much milliseconds matter during a game. Indecision very often is a part of the susceptibility. The more confident you are in your responses, the more protected you are. As soon as you hesitate, that's when you get it wrong, just like on the field. As soon as you hesitate, you miss the hole, you miss the gap, and that's how you lose. One thing Wilkerson does know for sure, having too much sugar and not getting enough sleep can make concussion symptoms worse. You can read more about his research on utc.edu. I'm Emily Gazzulo, and that's this week's Tech Bite.